Hi, as we enter this Christmas season, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. This Christmas season, I've got a perfect Christmas gift for you. It's my new book titled, The Invitation, or The Call of God. Everyone who comes to this earth has a purpose. I we here just to build houses? I we here just to marry? What happens when we die? When you don't have answers to these questions, you can live life with a feeling of emptiness and hollowness. This book will show you why God brought you into this world, what you're supposed to do. Get one for yourself, get one for a friend. It will be a blessing to you. God bless you and have a blessed Christmas. Place your order on Facebook by posting or messaging the title, Invitation. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakwa Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakwa Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakwa is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. What do you do when you dream of a successful job? Marriage and life get shattered. Let's join Kakra as he preaches on the title, Mending Broken Dreams. We'll turn about to Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Here the Bible talks about creation. But there's something about scriptures. In scripture, the time frame between two verses could be years. If you read Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 23, Jeremiah had a vision. And I believe that this vision supplies the gap between Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2. In Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 23, Jeremiah said, I beheld the earth and it was without form and void. I beheld and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were fled. Which means there used to be some people living on the earth before. But it says all these people, he couldn't see them again. All the birds were gone. So the beautiful thing that he had created was broken. The word broken, it means to not work properly. Today, I want to preach on the subject of mending broken dreams. Shakespeare wants to say mending broken dreams. The Bible says God himself, he created a beautiful world, but his dreams were broken. In Jeremiah chapter 18, the Bible talks about the same thing, but this time it's about God and Israel. Verse 3 said, Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work. On the wheels. Verse 4 it says, And the vessel that he made of clay was mad in the hands of the porter. And he made it again. Another vessel as seemed good to the porter to make it. Look at your neighbor, say, My neighbor. Whatever is broken in your life, if it is in the porter's hands, you have hope. Why don't you put your hands together for Jesus? Let's thank him. If your dreams are broken, what do you do? Number one, perspective. Look at someone say perspective. The word perspective it means the way you see things. Recently I met a man and he was complaining about how some promotion that was due him had not been given to him. Then I said to him, it is not a right. It is a privilege. And privileges are optional. So I said to him, your perspective is wrong because you can't distinguish between rights and privileges. So the Bible says, when God's creation was destroyed, I like the way he called it. He didn't call it, this is the end of everything. He said, in the beginning. This is the beginning of something new. Whether something 
is the end or is the beginning depends on your perspective. When Lazarus died, Jesus said, roll the stone away from the tomb. Martha said in John eleven thirty nine, 39, Lord, by this time, he's thinking, he has been dead for the For Martha, it was the end of Lazarus. But for Jesus, it was the beginning of a new life. Same situation, different perspectives. When your dreams are broken, the first thing you must watch is not the broken dream itself, but your perspective. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. Visa granted. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you to pray for me for entry clearance to join my husband in the UK. I had been refused several times and frustration was setting in. You replied that he had prayed for me. Today I testify that I have finally been granted the visa. I give God all the glory. Join us same time next week from Monday to Friday. Have a blessed weekend. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.